So as F1 heads to Miami, Mercedes do seem to be a bit more confident. Whilst the team have a range of issues heading into a circuit F1 has never been to before, the team are excited for the challenge, and have also revealed how they'll start fixing its porpoising issues during the Grand Prix weekend. In this video I'm going to be discussing what they've said, so let's get into it. Now before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. But let's get into it, and off the back of a dismal Imola Grand Prix, Mercedes has been working extremely hard to assess what went wrong. I mean whilst George Russell finished 4th, Hamilton only ended up in 13th, and the car was just such a handful that weekend. I mean the porpoising was the worst it's ever been, with the W13 suffering from such violent bouncing that bits of the car ended up breaking. And as we know the team are having to raise the ride height of the car as a result of the bouncing, which is costing them downforce. Now Mercedes have recently suggested that the team will introduce some minor upgrades at Miami, with major ones then expected to come from the Spanish Grand Prix. But Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has basically said that there's light at the end of the tunnel ahead of Miami, saying the team have solutions that they'll trial to get on top of the problem during the weekend. And if these succeed, that will in turn help them put the right upgrades on the car to solve their issues. He said, since we returned from Italy, we've learned as much from the weekend as we can and in parallel, our learning has continued in the wind tunnel and simulations. We have found several directions for improving the car and will be conducting experiments in Miami to correlate those simulations and hopefully confirm the development path for the coming races. Both drivers have been working in the simulator ahead of Miami and the factories have been busy producing updates for the next races. So as I say, for me this shows that there is light starting to appear at the end of the tunnel. And based off the comments made, I think on Friday practice the team will trial new parts or ideas to see if they work like they did in the simulator. And as I say, this should in turn help them upgrade in the right way going forwards. Now Russell is also hopeful that a solution will be found but feels that whilst experiments are being carried out, the team for now are going to have to stick with what they have. He was quoted by the Express as saying, We're learning every single day and we feel like there will be a solution in the pipeline at some point, but at the moment, we're sort of stuck with what we've got. Ultimately, when the car isn't quick enough, everything goes against you, strategy isn't necessarily the best, luck isn't on your side, everything sort of goes against you. Whereas when the car's quick, the strategy is always amazing, luck is always on your side and everything just goes in your favour. So that's the fact of the matter and we just need to find more performance. So how will Mercedes fare in Miami? Well Wolfer said he's excited about the upcoming challenge of the circuit, saying it's a step into the unknown with F1 not raced there before. He said, the track looks demanding with a real mix of low and high speed corners and it's set to be a spectacular showcase for the sport to our growing US fanbase. So we're set for a fantastic event and we can't wait to see how it all plays out. Now do you think Mercedes can take a step forward in Miami? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.